And before I start, I just want to let you guys know that I'm not really a good artist, but I'm going to walk you through my whole digital art process and hope you will learn something. All right. So I started with a rough sketch, but instead of erasing and correcting myself, I redraw everything in a new layer. I think redrawing the entire sketch is much faster than erasing and correcting yourself. I repeat the same process of refining the sketch three times or until I'm satisfied. So now I think the sketch is fully refined, I'm gonna start with the line art. I'm still using the default Clip Studio Paint G Pen brush. Next is the base color. I made it a habit to change the background color to a vibrant red so I can see clearly when I'm coloring to make sure everything is clean and filled up. I am temporarily using high contrast colors for the base so I can see clearly. After it's all done, I'm just gonna use one of the digital tools to change the color. Now I'm going to add simple details like the individual hair strands and the pattern on the bow tie. People would normally paint the skin shadow with the darker color of the skin base. I recently studied Mika Picasso's art style and I learned how to use the purple, the reds, and even the greens as skin shadow and it still looks right. There are two ways to do this. The first method is to put the skin color on the blank area of the canvas. Then decide the skin shadow that you want. It can be a purple, red, green, blue, or any color. Then use a blending brush to blend the skin shadow and the skin base. Stroke the brush from light to hard to create a variety of color values. Then use the color picker tool to pick the color that you like. Then apply it on the top of the skin base. The second method is very simple. Choose a saturated color. This time, I will use purple. Apply it on the top of the skin layer. Then, simply reduce the opacity. Keep adjusting the opacity till you get the result that you want. Now I'm shading the hair. In total, I used four different colors. One for the base, the light, the highlights, and the bounce light. I used a soft brush to paint the bounce light. The only time I use a soft brush in the artwork and the color I used is the same color for the skin base. I also added some spiky shapes at the edge of the light to indicate a hair texture. It is very simple to do but it looks really good. For the eyes, I just kept it simple and abstract at the same time using the same G pen brush. And by the way, all my layers blending mode is normal. 
For my drapery, as you can see, I'm not very good at it so I use cell shading to keep it simple and faster and my fundamentals is still very very weak. For the final touch, I wanted to make it look more like a pop art because I am inspired by Mika Picasso's artwork. And by the way, I'm currently making a video about Mika Picasso's art style analysis. Please leave a sub if you want to see that. Thank you. So instead of shading the shadow of the hair with a darker color of the base, I decided to go for the half tones to make the art look puppy. So that's it guys, thank you for watching my video and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching, bye.